涙の色はエメラルドブルー宝石みたいに光ってる Welcome, Magic Friends. It's Crazy Katana. So, we have a Lord of the Rings Tales of the Middle Earth bundle box. Yay! So, let's get to cracking this fun box open to see all of the exciting Lord of the Rings stuff. All the great cards, cool symbol. Also, on the back of the box, you can see all the things that your box should come with the dice,、um, your box. A、booster pack, set boosters, lands, and this offers a special, special feature for four alternate art traditional foil borderless Mount Doom scene cards. Okay, so there's the fiery red box to store all your cards, the cool little poster. So, my name is like a story, and An interesting photo on the back for the poster there. The ring in the hot, boiling water lava scene, it looks like. So, that is the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth box. All right, so let's open it up and see all the great things inside. You have card dividers, the really nice emerald green and gold for. Just the added tokens,、um, additional tokens with the ring on them. The flip side is going to be more tokens with the plus ones card divider, and that's going to be in the fiery red and black. A lot of people have been commenting on the dice, the countdown、um, of the life counter itself. It is a beautiful emerald or.、Um, Trying to think of the like maybe like a green onyx color and gold, and it's got just a fancy filigree、um, around the numbers. So, fun dice there. Then, on to the extra good stuff the cards. I'm not going to crack the planes,、um, the plain land cards, as you can see, an actual planes is on top here. And then we will open this one up so you can see what the box card is. And then also included, you are going to have four set booster packs. So we will crack those open.、Um, I'm going to leave that wrapped up. But before we crack the standard set booster pack, let's do this. And they didn't even do the real waxy one this time. This is just easy to open. We will flip this over, and we have Frodo, Soren's Bane. It is a legendary creature, halfling citizen. So, we did open this little dude in our pre release pack yesterday.、Um, just got done playing in pre release. So, this is the first thing I'm doing if I'm coming back. So, Frodo in the foil. We have Samwise the South Hearted also in foil. And then we have Gollum Patient Plotter also in the foil. And the One Ring. Now, this is not the One Ring that's the serialized one of one. So, don't get too excited here. But It is the foil、um, one ring.、Um, and the foil on this is quite different. It's not the standard foil. It doesn't seem like it's the etched foil either. It's、uh, barely foil, if you will. And then, of course, you have your basic lands in the foil treatment. So I believe we are to put these four together like so. And there creates your picture. So、um, that's part of the special Lord of the Rings Middle Earth bundle box. So we'll put these four at top here. Okay, but really we want to get to cracking these packs, right? So let's go ahead and get started on the set boosters pack number one. And unfortunately, these have been relatively easy to open. So let me know what you have gotten in your pre release, your bundles,、um, if you're opening the collectors. Um, these obviously start with the art card, so we'll put that to the side. And the first card, what a beautiful full art lands that planes! Oh my goodness! And then the map here that is such a cool card, I love that.、Um, so, already off to a great opening. So, we have Escape from Orthanc, Isolation at Orthanc, Fire of Orthanc. Okay, we've got a lot of Orthancs going on, Cast into Fire. Theodrin, or Theoden, King of Rohan. The White Hand. Gorbag of Menace Morgul. Golem Patient Plotter. And this is in that special ring treatment on the art card. So, very nice graphic there. 
Eleanor Gardner, the Halfling Scout. The rare for this is going to be an Instant Flame of Enor. Um, choose one. If you control a wizard as you cast this spell, you may choose two instead. Target player draws two cards. Destroy art, target artifact or, or this could be an and or, Flame of Enor deals five damage to target creature. So our rare. And we have a gorgeous blue foil. Irith of Healing House, Legendary Creature, Human Cleric for a 1-4, but that is just a really neat looking card. And to close out pack number one, we have our food token. So pack one. And this also, um, before we move forward, this has a double rare pack that Eleanor Gardner, the Legendary Creature Halfling Scout, she enters the battlefield um, create a food token. At the beginning of your end step, if you sacrifice to food this turn, you may search your library for a basic land card, put that card onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. So double rare. And that cool ring treatment. So we'll put that over to the side as well. So we're going to move to pack number two. Trying to get all the little stacks going on. There's a lot of, uh, there are a lot of options with the special treatments and those types of things. So pack two. This feels like a really good one. Okay, so we'll start with the art card. And we have the same planes, the full art land, but it's not in the foil. Looks um, so much better in that foil, no doubt, but cool for the full art land. The Limbus Bread, um, our local game store actually had some Limbus Bread. Let me tell you, that stuff was good. That was delicious. So we've got some Limbus Bread for the Artifact Generous Int. Mushroom Watchdogs, watch out. They can be ferocious. Snarling Warg. Ring Sight, sorry to cover up that graphic, Fiery Inscription, Bitter Downfall, Nasty End, and this is in the full art, so Borderless, sorry, excuse me, Borderless, and then we have a double Borderless, the Rising the Day, Rising of the Day, the rare in this pack is going to be the Shrine, it's a legendary land, it enters tapped unless you control a legendary creature, you can tap it for green, or you can one in green and tap untap creature you control to create a food token. So the rare in this pack and another beautiful foil in blue. So we have the Bewitching Leechcraft, the Enchantment Aura, and the foil. And a nice looking food token for the last card in that pack. So we're going to move on to number three. And I'm going through these a little slower because obviously this is a newer set. So I do want you all to be able to see both the common and uncommons that are going to, that you can hopefully expect in these bundle packs, the art card. And this time we get a swamp in the full art with the map here. So that is really cool. Although I will do a side by side. You really can't tell the difference between the swamp and the plane. So just pay a little extra careful attention um, as you're putting those in your hand. So gray heavens navigator, Nimrod watcher. Haunt of the Dead Marshes, Chant Met Elves, Elven Farsight, Golem's Bite, Gandalf's Sanction, Council's Deliberation. In the Ring Art, we have Samwise the Stout Hearted, Legendary Creature, Halfling Peasant, it offers some flash. Horn of the Mark. This is the rare in the pack. This does seem to be a card that is um, definitely one that's being looked and sought after. Um, whenever two or more creatures you control attack a player, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. We'll put the rare over here. All of our foils have been blue thus far, so I don't know if that's of any particular significance for this pack. Um, but beyond that, we've got the foil for the Deceive the Messenger instant. And we have one of those uh, non-token token cards. Underwhelming on that. Um, we will be moving to pack number four that will get us halfway through this bundle box. And these uh, packs are pretty easy to open, so that is very nice. Always nice. Oh, we have Mr. Gandalf himself. How about that with the art card? That is actually really cool. That is so far probably the best art card that I think we've pulled out of this bundle, but that is very nice there. This time we actually have just a standard basic island for the land. Um, Smite the Deathless. 
Battle Scar Goblin, Troll of Kazhad Doom, Dumbs, mm. Lorian Revealed, Wizards Rockets, we have Rangers Firebrand, Golem's Bite, Gandalf Sanction, and oh goodness, the Markwood Bats. Um, we have this in the Extended Art, so the Borderless. Um, we have gotten him in the pre-release, but this is really cool. I like that, um, just swarm of bats. That is pretty cool. And the mythic, so halfway through the bundle, we have our first mythic, the Watcher in the Water, Legendary Creature Kraken. The Watcher, um, the Watcher in the Water enters the battlefield tap with nine stun counters on it. Um, if a permanent with a stun counter would become untapped remove one from it instead whenever you draw a card during an opponent's turn create a 1-1 one, one blue tentacle creature token whenever a tentacle creature whenever a tentacle you control dies untap up to one target kraken and put a stun counter on it up to one target non-land permanent it is a 9-9 nine, nine for three and two blues so that is a strong strong dude for five mana and Snarling Warg, it is the Creature Wolf. It is the foil in this pack, and it's our first foil in something other than blue. But that is a really cool looking card. Wolf over the firelight. He looks pretty fierce, and that is well done in the foil treatment. And last, we actually have our first uh, list pull, the Mulder Slug. It's a creature beast. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices an artifact. So... Um, yeah, slug of a beast here for the, for our list pool. So put that over to the side. All right. We are halfway through our bundle box opening. We are on to pack number five. Um, exciting here. Let me know if there's any pulls that we've done thus far that you all have enjoyed, um, or are looking for. This is the side art card. We have a, just a standard basic mountain and we have the elephant. Uh, definitely used him in uh, pre-release today. And the Markwood Spider, this thing has Death Touch. Definitely saw him come out a few times. Um, looking to buy more Markwood Bats. Ooh, this is a really pretty card. The Kingfisher, the bird with flying. All right, Saruman's Trickery. And we have Saruman the White. We have Brash Instigator, our legendary creature Goblin Soldier. Then Ground the Great Breaker, the Gate Breaker. My bad, and I even played him today. So Legendary Artifact Vehicle 5-5, five, five, Crew 3. Here, Mini Partings, the Sorcery. And the rare in this pack, Pippin, Guard of the Citadel. Legendary Creature, Halfling Soldier, White and a Blue, Vigilance and Ward 1. Tap another target creature. You control gains uh, protection from the card type of your choice until end of turn. A 2-2 two, two for a one white and one blue. The foil in this one is red. So we're making it our way through the colors. It is the fiery inscription enchantment with a picture of that inscribed ring on it. So nice foil. And the orc army token card. Moving along to pack number six. This has been... A fun and enjoyable. I really enjoy opening packs with you all. I appreciate you all watching. Um, I'd love to hear from you. So if you have any comments, um, I would certainly love to engage in a combo with you. So there's another art card. We have a foil in the swamp uh, or the swamp in the foil. However we want to go about that. So that is super cool. It's a full art with the map. Um, that looks very well done. Then we have the Ince Fury, the Great Hall of a Citadel. The land. Gimli's Gim, Gim Axe. Gimli's Fury. Stone of Eric. The Legendary Artifact. Then we have our Enchantment Saga, the Bath Song. The Grey Heavens, a legendary land with some gorgeous artwork on that. Glorfindel Dauntless Rescuer, an Elf Noble. It is a legendary creature. Elf riding in on a horse. Then there's a 
um, Borderless, Gothmog, Morgul, Lieutenant, the legendary creature, Human Soldier. The rare for this pack is Lobelia, or Lobeli, Lobelia, Sackville Baggins. Um, legendary creature, Halfling Citizen, Flash, and Menace. Two and a black. When she enters the battlefield, exile target creature card from opponent's graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn. Then create X treasure tokens where X is the exiled card's power. And the foil for this is the nasty end instant for one and a black. Oh, how neat. We have another list pool. The crypt rats. Um, summon some rats. So very neat. Um Cool, we got another list pull. All right, so we're moving on to pack number seven. Making our way through this bundle box. Seven is a good number, so I think this will be some good stuff in here. Another art card. This time we get the full art for the land for the mountain. And we have the Lookout Elf Scout. Um, we have the Guide. The Galadrim Bow, Shower of Arrows, Council's Deliberation, Stone of Eric, The Bath Song, very similar cards, The Grey Heavens. Did we get a double of the same pack? We have the Elephant in Borderless, so that trampling elephant that's a 6-4. We have another there and back so we did um open a there and back saga with our pre-release but it is a rare so we've got another one you can up uh section one up to one target creature can't block for as long as you control there and back again and the ring tempts you part two search your library for a mountain card put it into the battlefield then shuffle put it onto the battlefield and three create a sm smog uh, a legendary six six red dragon creature token with flying haste and when this creature dies create 14 treasure tokens that might be good for a little pirate deck perhaps maybe even ragavan cast into the fire is the foil for this um it is the instant and we've got another orc army for our tokens okay last pack kind of sad i love opening packs um it's so fun and i especially love to share that opening with everyone so last pack, we've got the art here and we get a swamp. So we have the full land, full art swamp. We have Erebor Flamesmith, Bag End Porter, Mirror Mirror Guardian, Enraged Huron, Arwen Undomile, probably way mispronounced that, but Elf Noble Legendary Creature. Celeborn the Wise, Mirror of Galadriel, cool art on that, I like that. We got the Lego guy, call him the Lego guy, Legolas Counter of Kills, got him yesterday in a pre-release as well. Um, and then we have Elrond, Lord of Rivendell, legendary creature, elf noble in the ring treatment. We also have another, this is our third one, the file of Galadriel. The legendary artifact, so that will be the rare for this pack. And the foil will be the Salwarts of Osgilgav. It's human soldier. Definitely butchered that, but hey, food. All right, well, that brings us to the Lord of the that brings us to the end of the Lord of the Rings bundle pack. I hope you all are enjoying a wonderful pre-release weekend. Um, for those of you that are huge Lord of the Ring fans, I hope you all um, are satisfied with what Magic's put out. Um, and those that enjoy playing Magic and doing the combo. Um, I hope this adds some extra spice to your gameplay. And so thank you all so much for watching. I just truly appreciate it. I've had a great time and I very much look forward to opening future packs with you. <laughs>